Hi. Gonna read from this one. February 23rd. But while he was yet at a distance, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and embraced him and kissed him. Luke 15, verse 20. That's about the prodigal son. Imagine how you might feel if you were the captain of a slave ship. Picture the burden of guilt and shame you would carry if you had to transport chained human beings in squalor to a life of degrading slavery. Such a person was John Newton, who was overwhelmed by his part in this despicable traffic. His sin was more than he could bear. He knew he was a wretch in a wretched business. His repentance was total. He turned to God for forgiveness. What he received was beyond his expectations. Like the prodigal son in Jesus' parable, he found a waiting, loving father who welcomed him home with a celebration. Some time later, he wrote these familiar words. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found, was blind, but now I see. John Newton became a clergyman and wrote other hymns, preached stirring sermons, ministered to other wretches, and completed his life as a tribute to God and a gift to humanity. How like the recovering addict or codependent, <laughs> the person who once was wretched, lost, and blind, who once caused seemingly endless pain, can be saved. Yes, saved. Not only can we find such saving health, we learn, like John Newton, that the grace that saved us is truly amazing and the grace that we can share with others is more amazing still. O oh, Savior and Lord, save me from my sin and wretchedness. Lead me safely to you. Lift the blindness from my sight. Keep me coming home to you to receive your welcome. Amen. I should Bye.